All right, good afternoon and evening, everybody. I'm going to do a sound check real quick before we get into the introductions. So let's see. What? Yeah, not the. I'll say something silly. Uh, something silly. So. Uh, something silly. Something silly. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, keep like I, like I did uh, on Facebook. I keep said, keep I bantering for a second. Yeah, on Facebook I put up. I'm gonna say something controversial, and I said something controversial, and uh, I, I got a few laughs, laughs, and I got an anger emoji and stuff like that. All right, looks like we're coming through. Uh, so uh, welcome everyone to Road to Oblivion, episode seven. Uh, I I am here uh, with special guests Chris and Mark returning again for. Uh, to press on and save humanity one more time from a from another villain this week, uh, who isn't here Onward. today. Onward, that's uh, right. Yes. Uh, and then uh, who isn't here tonight though is Coinless. So uh, you know uh, the the singularity he pulled off last week just completely spent him. So you need to he needed to recharge his battery. So he took took this week off. So we'll. we'll oh, we're down our MVP from last week. I know. You know, he's in an excellent spot right now because if we, like, don't pass this one this week, he can be like, yeah, I I, I, I got tired from carrying the team so much. You know, he, he can only <laughs> win. He can only win from, like, all the excuses. And if he – His Go shoulders ahead. are very, very sore. <laughs> from carrying. Very, very sore. Nice. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do this again. But uh, what we didn't do, because the other one went a little wrong, was we didn't spin the wheel of villainy uh, to find out what villain we're going to fight this week. Now, I know everyone doesn't have all the DLC yet. I'm kind of waiting for next Steam sale. Um, so uh, so all the DLC goes on sale. It's a deep discount because the game's been out for a little bit. So uh, if if we if not everyone has that villain this week, we will re-spin the wheel. They'll still stay on the wheel, but we'll re-spin it until we get someone that... Uh, we haven't played, and all of us have. Uh, so, um, but before we do that, I do want to say that Team Rabbit Habit Ashery um, presents this programming as well as other programming, uh, all in support of Extra Life. So, Extra Life is a charitable organization that uh, goes to uh, children uh, that have sick, uh, that are sick, and they're spending time in a hospital for various reasons. Uh, it's to help support them entertain them get them that get them through that tough time uh so please uh i'm gonna put in the chat uh, uh go to the link uh all our team members are representing various different hospitals across the united states uh please look at uh their profiles find one that resonates with you and donate to any one of those hospitals uh that money will go directly to uh supporting kids hospital stays uh, what a great cause uh, so do I do thank you for your time for looking into into that and uh, donating if you can. Um, it's a great cause. So uh, I also want to put in a plug in for our various programming that we do across the week uh, on Rabbit Habit Ashery. On Mondays we have a Pathfinder RPG. Uh, on Wednesdays such as today uh, we do Road to Oblivion. Uh, uh, Road to Oblivion uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse. Where these are a series of ladder matches we're going to play until we play and and defeat Oblivion. Uh, in a special uh, Extra Life event. Uh, on th on Thursdays, we do have uh, Star Trek Lexington Last of the Line RPG uh, at, uh, I believe it's um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so uh, please tune in for that. And then we have uh, other programming throughout. But those are the consistent things. So please uh, tune in, subscribe, follow. Uh, so, but, uh, without further ado, we'll break out the wheel of villainy. I think this is Mark's first time actually seeing the wheel. So, uh, uh, uh I have gone back and watched your previous episodes. Oh, right. All right. I'm all for that. So he so, is familiar with it. And, uh, cool. Cool. I am multitasking a little bit, so I trust your judgment on, uh, who we do. I should be done pretty quickly. Uh, villainy. Turn, turn, turn. So uh, just for spice in there, we also have the minus one hero in respin. So if we get that, we are going in four deep. Normally we go in five deep because more more heroes is better chances. So, um, But all right, we're going to spin it and see what we get. Big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, but no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yep. Uh, oh, it's variant Baron Blade. Uh, I think we can do that one today. 
Now, I want to say we did Variant Baron Blade as our very first one, but that wasn't broadcast to be. That was the tep test episode between me and uh, with Coinless. Um, so, so we'll take uh, we'll take that. So let me swap. Let's oh, do it. And then we uh, we're gonna swap over to this thing to make sure the stream can see game. So let me swap over the game real quick. And then uh, we're gonna go a variant, variant Baron Blade. And then, all right, guys, uh, what what environment are you guys looking to do? So we've already done Final Wastelands. Um, we've already done uh, the nuclear power plant area, the Pike Industrial Complex. That was the one with all the vats. Um, we did Rook City, right? We did. Uh, well, we did, I don't, yeah, we definitely I don't, did Pike last week. We did uh, Pike. We did Final Wastelands. I don't think we've done Rook City on the stream. Um, I don't remember, to be honest. Um, I don't think so. But, uh, and I think the rest of it's open. Let's go dinosaur hunting. Dinosaur hunting? Okay. Ooh, we... Uh, I'm going to say, I think this is going to be a straightforward one, because the dinosaur hunting is like, I find that to be the easiest environment and Baron blade variant is i find to be fairly easy but maybe i'm jinxing us and it's going to completely be a disaster we'll find out um all right pick your since you two are the guests you guys are going to double up each and i will pick the i'll pick one but i'll let you guys p go ahead and pick away all right well i'm gonna draft my first hero nice all right i'm gonna go with my personal favorite. Fnatic. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, I'll All let right. you two you want uh, us to pick double both up. Of ours and yes. Then you'll cover up for our faults. Uh, <laughs> I will do my best. To, yes, I do want you to double up. I. Uh, you, you are. You. You will have to be your brother then, since you're representing him. I will. Uh, he, he did say, go ahead and be uh, absolute zero without me. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to do that. But actually, this scenario, I feel I feel like it's, ooh, okay, good choice. Tachyon. Can't go wrong with Tachyon. Mm -hmm. This is like a core set here. I'm going Tempest. Oh, very nice. Um, I feel like I just got to go Tempest. Um, I, uh, I'm thinking... Well, this is almost the core team here, so I'm thinking either raw or because we're just gonna we're just gonna Same. raw or legacy, yep. straight up legacy. Either more damage or tank. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna go raw because I feel if you're gonna bring tempest, you gotta bring raw. So yeah. Um, so Just boom raw. Let's do it. So uh, I'm liking this. All right, so uh, ready up, everybody. All right, let's do this. My bombs are scattered everywhere. You cannot win. I have foreseen the conf consequences of this conflict. Oh, that's that's always perilous. I actually appreciate having new heroes in the front because now I get now we get to get the other quotes. We were me and my brother hammed it with a uh, legacy always in the front. Um, because you can't go wrong with the buff up front. Yeah, I, I can't say I don't think I've seen Tachyon in the game in a long time. Uh, we haven't pulled Tachyon too much, no. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Uh, mm, uh, Tim was thinking about joining us in the stream. So, I don't know. I, I don't think we've started yet. Are you guys willing to back out and, and have Tim Tim hop in? Sure. Yeah, I'm cool with me. Hop in. Uh, we are using Discord. I didn't right. think he was still awake. Yeah, normally he... Well, normally he's not. So, let's, let's back out of this here. Um, back to the main menu. Online multiplayer. Uh, Actually, that'll give me a chance to uh, make a quick uh, pit stop. Uh, Justice Comics 369. So let me, I'm going to uh, add, how do I add someone? Add friends. Uh, so uh, oh, and... Justice Comics is not the name of the game. Oh, wait, I see it. Turn around. Justice yeah, Comics 369. Just as space. Tim, you there? Over. I'll be right back. 
Hello, Tim. Tim? How's it going? Hey, all right. So Hello welcome. Again. Welcome to the show. Oh, my gosh. We got guest stars left and uh, left and right. So uh, uh, my my brother Coinless, uh, he had to take the week off uh, because he carried us so hard last last game that uh, he just he just needed to recover. So uh, but uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, uh, in addition to our special guests, Chris and Mark, we've got we got Tim joining us tonight for his first time special guest. And so this is great. Yeah. Um, can you send me a link to the game, though? Can I? Uh. Let's join. No, you can join. Uh, let's see. Um. Here, let me send it through the chat here. In. All right. Awesome. So we. We already spilled, uh, spin the wheel of villainy uh, tonight, and we picked uh, the variant of Baron Blade, and we're going with the environment of um, dinosaurs. So, uh, nice. so I just came out of playing Ark. So, uh, so the dinosaur theme is going to carry on for you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, since yeah. You, since you guys are all guests, uh, I will I will let you pick. Actually, Tim, since you're the most, you're the this is your first time here, so you'll pick two heroes, and then the rest of us will pick each one, and we'll we'll cover down. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, go ahead. Actually, Tim, go ahead and pick your first hero. Let me see here. Uh, who is this guy? I don't think I've ever seen the scholar. Oh, good choice. Yeah, he's part of one of the expansion packs. I love him. He's a great character. He's a great tank uh, because he can either like heal for like ten each round, or you can like just like no damage. So, so he's a fantastic tank. Nice. Well, I, I'll hold on to him then. Yeah. Tachyon, good choice. Chris, you're up. All right, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go go my tempest. All right. Uh, let's see. Go ahead, Tim. Pick a second character. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll be the closer, and I'll pick the last one. Okay. Uh, um, no pressure. I think uh, I, got, I got a tank. Um, <laughs> but I think I'll go with. Uh, uh, I do. I do fanatic. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. A fanatic is near and dear to your heart. That's that's your. Yeah. She's awesome. good choice. She, she is. Well, she, usually Carol favorite. plays fanatic. I this, don't normally. That's true. If Carol's playing as well, she'll she'll throw in a fanatic. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go. She likes Wraith too. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Um. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, legacy. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna be in the back. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna. Go ready that. up. All right. Uh, ready. I, I stand ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. All right. My bombs are scattered everywhere. You cannot win. Now let's all sit back a spell and think. Er, sit back and think a spell. No need to get all riled up. See, my brother does a better accent than I do, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I can't draw. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what, <laughs> uh, fire damage. It looks like, uh, oh, uh, it looks like it's zero. So except for legacy, yeah, because, uh, he's the nemesis. They're nemesis. Oh, yeah. yeah he, and he could always go nemesis. eventually to like immunity. It's true. A whole bunch of zeros. I'm okay with this. Yeah. So yeah, is this, is this variant like very different than the the normal Baron Blade? So what I remember of this is, um, uh, ooh, okay, let's see. Barely each toxic damage. I don't think it matters. Outside of Legacy, just takes an additional hit. Um, my big thing is he's got like this super weapon. So like the big thing, he's he's a little his health is low. So that's the winning part. But the bad part is like he has his super weapon that does like crazy damage so the goal is like to knock him out before he's able to deploy that i also think that he's got like a, a like a win condition that if he gets x amount of cards like he wins like 
just straight out you lose the game oh wow, oh, wow. yeah so uh, the other yeah the normal one has something like that so oh is it okay me. Each player may destroy any other equipment cards. On, apparently, each hero X lightning damage X plus three number of equipment still in play. Well, we don't have any equipment cards. Nope. Nope. So we're just gonna just take three lightning damage. I'm taking a whole lot of damage before the game even starts. <laughs> yeah. And we lost. No, no, no. <laughs> Good game, everyone. Good game. Good game. That singularity when we need it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Coinless is recharging oh. this week. All right, you're up. All right. Well, let me see what I'm looking at here. So he flips if he dies. So we got to get him down 30 health, and then he'll flip. And then every card under his deck has X fire damage. Oh, so even if we get him down to 30, he we have to fight him some more. Yeah, then he bumps back yeah. up to 40, and then, and then, uh, and then the goal is not have him ho have a whole bunch of trash because then he starts his his like super weapon does like crazy damage. Oh, gotcha. Because he'll do like X damage plus the cards under his deck. So if he gets like his deck underneath him, he's dealing like crazy damage. Well, yeah, and he's. Is that my health? You... Is 36? No, that's how many cards I have. Like, where's my health at? Uh, 24. Uh, 24. But your your base power is to regen one health to yourself, so. Yeah. Like, the Scholar's the last to die. He can always tank most things. It's. All right, a little, okay. little nice. tachyon. Mark, you're up. All right. So I don't think we've uh, met Mark. We uh, not. no, we haven't. Uh, so I am. Uh, I'm. I'm Chris. Chris's cousin. Yep. Uh, and oh, yeah. I am actually the. Uh, I am the one who introduced uh, Eric to uh, to this game back at PAX uh, a few years ago. So. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah, so Mark, uh, I met him at uh, PAX South several years back, and he brought the physical version. And they weren't they didn't have all the expansion packs. They didn't have the game version of it. And and uh, he introduced it to me, Chris, and Dave. And we played a lot of it when we weren't going to events. And yeah, it was great. So good times. Very addicting. And then Dave is how I met, or Mark is how I met Dave. They played uh, Team Fortress Two together, and then I met Eric through uh, through Dave. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dave. Cool. Tie that binds. Yeah. Yeah. Crucial linchpin here. <clears throat> yes. You helped help build my gaming server, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> okay. There you go. You're you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, all right. I like that card there. That's always a that's always a clutch card because it, ongoing cards are usually hard to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. I'm holding on to two of them too, so we can also purge the uh, environment. Nice. I find the environment in this one's pretty straightforward. It's just minion dinosaurs for the most part. Like, mm -hmm. um, so just if you bring if you have a DPS team, it's like mostly a non-issue. Um, yeah, I mean they can hit pretty hard, but. Now Tempest, Tempest is probably the. I think he's the best character, best mechanically the best character, almost broken for the base pack. I, I think he's got too many good cards. Um, but mm. uh, but I'm okay with it. Like you gotta you gotta have someone that's good with it. it just uh, he's probably the I mean, best healer too. Uh, and I don't think he was intended to be, but he's got a power that's like heal everyone for two, and. Not many That's other super handy to have around. 
Yeah, and, and there's not many other characters. Even there's like one dedicated healer. It's Doctor Medico, and like he can heal better, but I don't think he he doesn't do team heals like that. I don't know. I maybe he does. What do you think, like Mark? A downpour. He's got like a downpour thing. I think is a team heal. Yeah, it's a team heal for for Tempest. Reducible radiant damage each. Going to that one. You tell there's some minions. Wow. Got two end of days out. Yeah, the apocalypse cards. That that's nice when it's just like things are just not going your way. You're just like, I want to reset this whole thing. I I do better. <laughs> I do better if we just like start from scratch again. Yeah, it was a it was a rough draw for the first round. We we got a lot going on here. Yeah, you might actually. Oh no, no, I don't, yeah, that is a rough draw. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know what to suggest to you. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could block his damage. Select up to two non. Yeah. Not, oh no, it's a non-character card though. Oh, that won't work either. Yeah, but... I don't know. So yeah, I don't not... think that. So he he counts that'll... as a character card, doesn't he? Yeah, he counts as a character card. So I don't think he can do anything. So. Uh... Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll clean okay. out what's underneath him either. I just think you skip. I mean, I really. That's just a bad draw. Well, that's my vote. I, I don't know. Yeah, we're just not in a good place to, to do anything. So. I mean, you still can do damage, but... Yeah. You can punch him in the face. I mean, punching in the face always always effective. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's just setting him up to see what's coming. That's right. We're yeah. just giving him a false sense of security. That's it. <laughs> uh, oh, I got lots of choices. I got I got good cards here. All right. Um, that legacy ring, I think, is a good one, isn't it? It is. I do like it, but I got this one it's here, which will heal and plus one, so everyone will get plus two when I'm done, which oh, is really nice. why we bring legacy to the fight. It's really just buffing other people's damage. Yeah. I mean, he does other great things too, but uh. But that's a pretty great. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's it's <laughs> hard not to bring that into a fight. I am a fan. I am a fan. All right, see what the environment does. Eh, just in a rage, T Rex. Okay. Boy. Oh, oh! It's attacking! It's attacking Bear Blade! It's it's on our side. <laughs> nice. Uh, like, see, it's it's one of Tib's dinosaurs from Ark, I bet. Yep, there it is. The Rex I was just trying to tame. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it worked. It just it went over event. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a very dinosaur, or you guys are having a very dinosaur uh, season with uh, Ark and all this, you know. Uh, sure. Well, do you know how that started? Have you been watching the In Memoriam stuff? I just started watching started the most recent. I just started watching it, uh, and uh, the time and time again episode. Literally on my car ride oh. home today, so. Um, not that far into it yet but i hear dinosaurs because you guys mentioned it in pineapple i think so yeah well we went to the scar and, and as you guys may recall from going there yourselves there are dinosaurs mm -hmm. there yes yes oh um, yes but they found uh oh he's starting to they discovered how up. the dinosaurs are getting there um because they they stepped through uh or presumably how the dinosaurs are getting there because they found a lake that wasn't at the same plane as the earth. Like ah. It was, you know, the ground is at one plane and the water is at a different plane, so it was that weird. It was very obviously weird. And when they went into it to investigate, they found that it was actually a segment of ocean in the Cretaceous period. And they were able to cra travel into the Cretaceous period by the, through that. Oh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. Was it a one-way ticket, or they will see? It was tricky, but they got back. Ah. They figured out how to get back. Um, and it was through the same patch of water. But, like, the, the, the thing that was weird, that was tricky about it was that... Uh, I'm going to talk about this more off my turn. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, hey. Let's... So he's got a damage reduction ongoing card. That needs to go. And then... 
He's gonna be doing some. Oh wow, that's a pretty good card. A little yeah, little uh, or redirect, a little redirect. Yeah. And wow. Don't wanna do wanna, wanna hurt the Rex or the or Baron Blade here. What are we thinking? I'm kind of a fan of hitting Baron Blade, but uh, I don't know. Mark, what you do know, you think? I think actually, because we're wait. Oh, no, what do you think? Because uh... well, you get three damage on the Rex and you get two damage on Baron Blade, but we right. probably do want to get rid of. The, because the Rex is going to get the guy with the high, second highest HP for five melee damage. So. Yeah. So if we knock Baron Blade down too low, he's never going to be that guy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit the Rex. Okay. Yeah, do the Rex. We'll focus Rex down on the Rex. Yeah, <laughs> we'll Rex him. We'll Rex him. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I apologize for the puns. I think <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta make up for Coinless not being. Yeah, you gotta make oh, up for yeah, Coinless yeah. not being here. He's the pun master, and <laughs> and someone's gotta cover down on that. Um, but while they were in the while they were in the Cretaceous period, they they discussed that it was. Well, at first they were asking if I was trying to set up a crossover with the Paleomythic campaign. <laughs> that that's that's a fair fair uh, that's question. A that's a fair question to throw out there. <laughs> that's a possibility. Though I would think it would be hilarious if you you know we see them in the background and they're like, wait, what's that? And they're they're observers. Yeah, <laughs> dragon. We start worshiping up. We worship. The I know they deities. they completely yeah they completely throw off the. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Star uh, Trek Prime they... Directive stuff right there. <laughs> Don't interfere, right. just just observe. <laughs> but then, uh, but then when they continued joking about, it, they they came to the conclusion that we should, we it, we realized that we all enjoyed Ark, and that obviously there were some Ark theme things happening. So they they thought we decided we needed to start an Ark game for the server, and so that's what we did. Nice. But that's that is how it all started was was them time traveling in in memoriam, which yeah, <laughs> had to no end. Oh, did it? Well, well I mean, I, because you you were I, like the old like the only thing I won't do is time travel. So I I the, eh, well, I, I think you know. The only thing I I know, I, I know what you said. I'm not fighting that. You said it, the, either the whole group goes time traveling or no one does time traveling. Uh, so yeah. the whole group went. So therefore. It's still within the rules, but I still, it's still, you know, kind of close. Got to ride that line there, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see what you got. Uh, still not a whole lot useful stuff going on. I guess what, I guess I could now do. Uh. Pick two targets that won't do damage. Oh, but the, there's only. I mean, he's gonna smack a, a Baron's gonna smack us for five. Yeah, but it's a non-character card, so like I think a Who'd villain. Would be the Rex? It'd be the only the Rex wouldn't do damage. And right now, Legacy, he's gonna do damage to Legacy. As it stands okay. right. Okay. So. I could do that then. I mean the other. There's just not a whole lot else to do right now, unless I could. I mean, I could do the the divine sacrifice and do one damage to two different characters. Well, I guess it would be three damage to two different characters, but like, and then all damage done next round by them would be go to fanatic, which actually she's got the highest hit points right now, so that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, I think that's. Kind of really the only card you you got a weird draw like of cards for her so I really did. I mean, uh, you're gonna hit both of them by the end there so. Yeah. Uh, and then lighten people up. Stop shooting. Um, <laughs> Actually, I think you might kill 
the the T Rex if you use your base power on the T Rex. I might. It's close. It's gonna be close. Be close uh, I think it might have one left, but no, it's, it looks like it would have two left. Well, Let's see. I think you could take it out if you wanted to. Or... Yeah, I definitely yeah, get. I, I but I think oh, Fnatic wait, actually does it because the buffs, yep, legacy go. buffs. Damage, so that's, it's yeah. gone. Nice. Yep, that's gone. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to... Oh, now see, that's a handy card. Oh, I like that one. Uh, I'm going to kind of do a setup here because I don't think... I'm just going to set this out, get the ring on, and then I'm going to buff. Yeah, I always did like that ring. It comes in handy once you get a couple powers on the board because then you're just spamming powers and it's, it's nice, but it, it takes a little bit of setup. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, Pterodactyl Thief. Start uh, equipment kill turn. The kill the bird. Yeah, he's he's five. He's he's easy he's collateral damage. Oh, hey, actually, it's all gonna it's all gonna go to fanatic. That's ooh, true. <laughs> ooh, uh oh. Oh, oh no. Twenty. Five to the face. Uh, yeah. 30. Yeah, this yeah. fanatic. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> we got this. Thanks oh. for joining, Tim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fanatic wanted to go up in a ball of uh, fury, so you know. Oof. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll use my healing. It, I'll use my healing power this round. I mean, Divine Sacrifice was the appropriate name for that card. <laughs> so, true. She's dead. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Because <laughs> he hit the pterodactyl too. We didn't count that into the math. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, see, that's weird because I think... I think I, had, I, I thought that there was something that was going to direct damage to um, to Scully, but I guess not. I didn't. I didn't factor in the 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 pterodactyl. That was the part. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna slip out with one, and then we could figure out a way to heal her or something like that. But no. Nope. Yeah, that, me too. Hero down. Hero down. Skip. Yeah. Okay. So I either have to discard a card or. Yeah. So you got to discard, or you're gonna lose your your aura. Redirect. Yeah. Your elemental. You do have another elemental. Actually, no. You can have. Uh, well, technically, you have more one element. That's the problem with Scholar that he a lot of his cards are card burning. So like you'll deal a lot of cards, but then yeah. you'll be like, I've got to burn cards to keep strong well um i guess i'll get rid of no one to turn loose i mean presumably there's another one in but the, you know I, I, i'm gonna get rid of that one um and then i can get because i can get that back if i need to i have a card that will allow each player to pull something from their from their trash hmm So I can pull that back out if I need to. Um, wow. I just look. I'm I, I sorry. I look. Play that. I'm just looking at the health, and everyone's in the 20s except their fanatic, who's dead. <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, 22, 25, 26, 0. I'm like, oh. Uh, sure. I'll get that card back. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Sure. Tachyon is deciding what to do. Nice. 
Oh, at each player. Oh, I didn't even realize. I, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, like, all get to do oh, it. all right. And I have another one of those. So nice. Chain lightning. That that's that's a great card. <laughs> I'm actually gonna vote for this guy first, the because yeah, because you're gonna kill the pterodactyl with the lighter, the lesser lightning. So Tempest just had like discharged a bunch of electricity in the area. That's essentially. <laughs> steal our equipment. Mm, yep. <laughs> uh, like so. Let's go see. Uh, well, I guess I put the top card in deck into... <laughs> you guys don't have any inventory. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. That'll Face hit shot. pretty hard. That was actually... That was a very satisfying <laughs> card play. That was like, we... Mm -hmm. Oh, I get three damage. That's fine. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, Baron Blade. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want a piece of this? I need a little, a little, a little sprinkling of healings in there for yourself there, too. Yeah. Oh, look, you're flipping them. Nice. All right, All right. we flipped them. Uh oh, wait. Uh, destroy your first card. In, huh? At the start of the villain's turn, Baron Blade is the highest where next to number. Wait. Baron Blade flip. Restore him to 40 HP. Shuffle all cards on the deck in the villain trash. And destroy X hero ongoing cards and equipment where X is the number of cards moved under this card. Uh, we're getting rid of all of our stuff. Yeah, we're gonna, he had a lot of cards. He had like seven cards, so we're going to lose all our equipment. So. Dang. Uh, that's okay. I didn't have, I just had the one, but no big deal. <sighs> kind of. Well, my, my building up a legacy is kind of just fizzled, but eh, it is what it is. It wouldn't be Sentinels if it didn't do this to us. That's right. It's got to It's got to equalize it. Oh, he zapped you back. A little, a little backhand for you. Alright, what do we got here? We're gonna go blink. Get rid of the backlash field. Nice. I like it. So, punch him in the face. <laughs> Start showing him the boss. Um. Oh, and straight to that. That's pretty good. I mean, actually, no. I don't know if actually don't play that card. I I, I changed my vote. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A little. Oof. Yeah, that's a choice there. I would actually probably. I don't know. I'm thinking heal. The problem is he can't heal dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's nope. still, the, still no cure for dead. The, no. the, the different superpower <laughs> altogether. I'll go ahead and, uh, maybe I should let somebody play a card. Or should I heal somebody? Um, I was, How are we looking? I would think the damage dealt by two, but I don't know who that would go to. It would probably be Tempest in my mind, but playing a card's, yeah. al playing a card's also always a good thing, so. There's some pretty cool cards that could get played, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one for this, this time. Uh, Tachyon, Tempest, Legacy, who should get that? Uh, I would say Tempest or Legacy. I uh, don't have a lot to 
I, I can I can I would go legacy because I can give everyone a card at the minimum. That's always a win. Um, All right, I support it. Okay, that sounds good to me. You get a card, and you get a card. <laughs> Insert Oprah memes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, not a lightning chain lightning. Nice. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm just going to give more cards to people and just spam up cards because I can't really do any damn. I mean, I can, but like, I feel like it's a waste of a damage card because it could do three people damage. So I'm just going to go with this. Yeah, but I think, well, I don't know th what he does in this form. So, yeah, usually I'm not available at this time because I, yeah. I go to bed. I try to go to bed first at 11 <laughs> o'clock. Sleep. Time. But, uh, yeah, see, he's not going to get any minions in play. Oh, he's not? Okay. No, whenever a villain target enters play, it's destroyed. So... Okay. I don't think you need to hold back on those. Okay. Good call. I uh, I had a upper endoscopy this morning, and so I oh was, okay. Ooh. I was under uh, sedation this morning, and then slept that off most of the rest of the day. So I am not ready for bed yet. <laughs> nah, that makes sense. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I'm gonna jump into this. Well, happy to have you here. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. nice surprise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pleasant surprise. Okay. So now he's so, going to start I'm hitting us every turn based off of the number of cards that are in his trash. As opposed uh, to underneath him. Oh. So he's going to destroy his own villain cards. To create more trash to kill us. Well, that's that's villainy right there. That's villainy 101. He's gonna he's gonna kill his own minions to make his weapon stronger. <laughs> well, it sounds like a bad guy. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, so there's not gonna be very many non-hero targets in play then. No, that's not why. this time around. Uh, and that's not gonna change, I should think. I'm just gonna go with this. Just, just lightning him. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good card or not, but like, or a good play or not. Well, but it's the like... problem is right now, if I lightning him, I'm only gonna do one, two, or one, two, three, four, five damage. Yeah, that's true. Don't do that. Which is not terrible, but it's not. Really um, you could do that. Um. Yeah, I was debating between that one and. Uh... Flesh to iron. Uh, yeah, I mean, flesh to iron is always it makes you more tanky. And then I can, and then I can throw I can throw away grace under fire but that, because I'm not gonna have uses for it. But you could least. also you could also with the one shot pull that same elemental card, shuffle your deck, and then play a card on top of that. So you could do both those with the one oh, shot. That's true. Because there's more than one el of each elemental in your deck. And you only have three in your trash, so you probably have... Yeah, that. so what the heck, I'll do that. So yeah, you have two, two, and... Ooh. I, I, I'm a big fan of, of this one here, but don't uh, the, the solid to liquid, but uh, whenever the scholar would gain HP, increase that amount by one, so you're just doubling your HP heals. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. But... But I really like being able to do damage. Okay. It, uh, sure. Whenever I heal. Although I'm apparently half the group one. is voting. The entire party is voting. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll split the vote so you have no way of deciding anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're helping. <laughs> That's right. Do this. Do this. Don't forget the air quotes. And the, and the scholar is kind of like, what are you guys? Pick something. <laughs> 
Go left, go right, go straight. Actually, I think you can play more than one elemental. You're just burning more cards each turn to keep it alive. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, uh... He's going to be full health. Probably. By next turn, you'll probably be. Are we worried about this Velocity? Oh, well, he's got the Chain Lightning. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay on. Yeah. Him. Yeah, the, the Velociraptor <laughs> pack is collateral damage. It's only a fiver. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. See, drawing that is what I want to do before <laughs> I throw out that that big card where I discard everything. Also, oh, I yeah. think the a, the card art for that card should be like, you know, uh, that should be memorialized somehow. He's just lying back in the sun on the couch with his shades, uh, having a beer <laughs> in his in his robe. Should be like a He's... white Russian, like the dude abides. Yeah, the dude abides. <laughs> That's probably what they were thinking when they drew that card, like the dude abides. Yeah, that's, that's all of the <laughs> Love that movie. Sorry. Oh, all the uh, classic. Right? Right? Can't That's... stand it. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark's like, worst movie ever made. And... I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I, I have warned people before. Like, I, 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 sh I went to show it. I was dating this girl, and I went to show it to her. And I was like, no, I should warn you. Like, based on the movies that I knew she liked and stuff. I was like, this is not, <laughs> this is not a highbrow movie. Like, if you start thinking about this movie, you're you're not going to enjoy it. No, it's that kind of movie. And so we watched it, and afterwards she was like, "I feel like, I feel like I might actually be dumber now." <laughs> than watching it. I mean, I actually, you know, you there's lots of ways you could you could get. Uh, oh yeah, that that was not a good play. Should I do damage or should I do some healing? Uh, I would say damage. I think pretty good for healing right now. Yeah, like, do damage because we're not going to get hit too hard by him next turn. Yeah, we're on pretty good health except for one. And we don't talk about her. Nothing anymore. you do is going to help her anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, she. I mean, divine sacrifice. She just called it. She was like, "Divine sacrifice," and just like Leroy Jenkins, the whole part, <laughs> like, and died. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Uh... I'm gonna give Tempest some extra damage. Very nice. Sweet. I'll do one of my big. I think I've got like a like a five damager nice. that I can do. I mean, I I think I'm just gonna throw down the damage card because that's. Yeah, either punch him, uh, or uh, throw out your. Trap. Oh jeez, I I threw out the wrong one. No. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> Those are all good ideas. I don't want to do any of them. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I'll show you guys. What I'll actually do is this. That <laughs> nice. Oh, another thief. Nothing to discard. So it's all on y'all. Oh. Well, this one's about to go away anyway. At the start of your turn, the spell that regains two points and destroys this card. Um, so, whatever. 
Let me just skip. Each player may destroy any of the equipment cards that the Varian Blade deals each year. But I actually... Yeah, I would skip it because I played a card accidentally that uh, none of the heroes are going to get damaged this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. So so the good news is keep all your cards. Would it would have been helpful to save before he destroyed Yeah, you should have said that before. I, 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 I'm sorry. I was... <laughs> we thought you were paying attention, Tim. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I... My bad. <laughs> Sorry. That was a, it sounds like you had a happy little accident. Yeah. Actually, that was a clutch card I played. <laughs> like, by accident. Because it was supposed to be seven damage, and now it's nothing for each character, each remaining character. So, look at all that. Look at all that damage deflected. I, I love how... I love how... Le oh, except for Legacy takes eight damage. But... I love how Legacy is a character, even like, he's like, oops, but still saves the day. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> that's how goody two-shoes he is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Superman-like character for you. Yeah, that's where yep. Batman seething is like, what the, oh, I hate that guy. Look at all those elements you're you're channeling there. Nice. I like it. That amps your damage too. Oh yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to maintain it all next turn because you're gonna need some cards to throw away. Yeah, well I'm gonna go ahead and uh do this. So that'll give me five cards. Well, there you go. I like the uh, the scholar. I think he's he's a great uh, he's great at what he does. Yeah, I've yeah, been very I impressed of, by him. I, I'm liking him. I like both the character as well as the uh, as the the play style. We can do that. It it, it'll, it'll get through all of them. Uh, let's see, move one card from your trash to the top of your deck. Uh, we'll put a card into play. Okay, a little increased damage. That's okay. Go. That's always a win. Good to me. Tachyon's uh, turn. What do we got here? What do we got over here? <laughs> you got options. That's what you got. I, I like synaptic interruption. That's always a good one. Actually, most of Tachyon's cards are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a really well-designed hero. Um, yeah, she's got some cool stuff. Just go rage. Just start, start shooting things. 
I believe is also canonically dating the Wraith. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, you have extra damage this round, by the way. Yeah, should okay. I do one target for five lightning, or should I do... Um... Wild Lightning, one target for four damage. You may destroy up to two ongoing cards. It doesn't have those. I think my vote's going to be this one. But you could very easily just do the five to the Baron's face. And I I, I also think it's a smart play. But that way you get rid of the Pterodactyl at the same time. So you're like... Psh, psh. Yeah, the Pterodactyl's going to steal our equipment. So if we can get rid of it... Yep. Do you want me to blow away the Pterodactyl? Uh, I would say Baron Blade for... Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, I would actually go... I don't know. I feel like that's... You don't have the damage boosting things on. You, you have you? the you have the damage boosting things on. So you do eight damage. I feel like Baron Blade just do the... Let's see. I'm... I'm... Uh, I... Th I think I could kill him. I think so. Uh, it's, yeah, hit the Baron. Yeah, hit the Baron. Okay. Yeah, hit Baron. Baron it is. Oh yeah, then just, just do some snow squalls and you're good because you're still your damage output's still on, so <laughs> That's yeah. true. Or though if you if is that heal if you do the heal, you're gonna heal Scholar and then Scholar is going to be able to do damage. That's true. Any healing that oh, yeah. Scholar is that's true. Damage. So you're just going to bounce that off uh, Scholar. I like it. That's that's clever. Well, let's let's see this happen. Legacy could use a Band-Aid. I, I completely... Completely so for that. So do want to hit the Pterodactyl then, or, or Baron? Uh, I hit the ter Pterodactyl, yeah. Yeah, all right. Because I can I can take out a one. Yeah. <laughs> because I got I got like a, a three for three card coming. I could just deploy that. I mean, yeah, the rest of it doesn't. Uh, I would say either the damage output or playing a card, whichever anyone feels. Act you know what? Um, what were you about to say? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Or give Scholar two more life, and then you get to... Oh, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, do that. True. That's fun. Just do that. <laughs> we're going to keep healing you, Scholar, so you can be angry about it and just take out someone else. <laughs> uh... For the Baron, because you said you're gonna take out. I, be I believe I can. Or should I? Yeah, I, I can take out. I can take out Pterodactyl. So just to the face. If I can play the right card, that's I'm gonna be very focused. Right. We have all, we have complete faith in you. I yeah, can yeah. I can play a card. All right, Pterodactyl's going down first, just for. <laughs> Just, yeah, just so I, yeah, the and then, uh, and my nemesis gets you an extra point, pow, kapow, nice. uh, I am going to stop because no one else wants these fists of fury. Well, can I, can I heal when I'm at max health? Uh, I don't uh... think you get the benefit, but he's going to do some damage this turn, right? Yeah, he'll do. Three. He'll do. I think he does three across the board, so you'll still have something. But I think if okay. you don't, if yeah, if you don't get a heal, you don't do a damage. Okay. Oh, the the raptors are even on our side right now. This is great. <laughs> oh, I love it. The wildlife's oh, working boy, for blue. us. <laughs> it's like click, 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 click. See, there you go. A little three damage. I love the, that the scholar was most concerned about being at full health. <laughs> like, oh no, I don't want to be full health. <laughs> and we don't need to worry about this, right? 
so. I don't think so. I don't uh, think he's. I, don't, I think we're good. And it's a team wipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just like that, everybody's gone. Yep. Plus three. It's not times three. I, for a second there, I read times three. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, actually, no, we probably should have threw something away because that's going to hurt. <laughs> Legacy's going to be down, like, hurting. But... Give it to me first. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Redirected to... Oh, Baron Blade? Are you killing Baron Blade with this nut? <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice. No. <laughs> Can we do that again? See, that card is clutch. Uh, yeah. I think it's choose for me, but Le Legacy is going to be a little on the low side here. Ooh. Yeah, his, his, his gun gets a little juiced up. But he's too damaged. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if I just... Heal yourself. I think you <laughs> yeah, I can just throw something and away and then dead. heal myself, and I'll be all set. Perfect. What's this? Oh, you had to discard cards. That's... All right, I'm gonna do this. Or, or yeah, or. I guess I was just reading it. That's always a nice card. I love it when you there's a card you play and negates the character from dealing damage until the next round. Those are always clutch cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to vote a Scholar, because I think the Scholar should regain heals, and then you get to redirect those heals, and good game, everyone. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, Tim's the magic. Yeah, the That's Scholar. The scholar uh, pulls it in. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's not even 3 a.m. What the heck? I know, right? <laughs> I get to go to bed early? What the heck kind of uh, I, is this? I just want to let Coinless know that uh, he's the reason that it's been going taking three hours a session. Uh, because <laughs> 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 so he can't complain anymore because it's his own doing. Uh, this, is, this is what happens, Coinless. <laughs> this is what happens, right? Uh, <laughs> he's going to be like, oh, man. Um, so, yeah, I guess... We're gonna wrap it up early, but uh, but we I think we should spin the wheel of villainy for next week. What do you think, guys? Let's do it. Bring I, it up. I think so. Yes. I spoke that. Uh, okay. Let's uh, we're gonna go over to the wheel of villainy, and then and then all right. Let's. I don't know why it's frozen, but there we go. All right. Let's see what we got for next week. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the nod. Or a need? Is that how you say it? Uh, this is this is Ra's nemesis. And it's actually a team. It's a team of, like, uh, Egyptian gods. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, so um... I don't I, know if we're going to be able to... Is that one usually... Are we going to be able to do that one? Uh, I don't know. I have to, I'll have to check which DLC. Uh, but... Um, we will... So we'll, we'll pencil and nod in, but if not everyone has the DLC, we might re-roll the, the wheel again uh, and go from there. Um, but uh, I will... I will wrap us up for tonight and say that uh thank you everyone for watching uh road to the road to oblivion um a team habit rabbit haberdashery production uh please donate to extra life uh we're gonna put the uh, the link in the chat uh extra life is a charitable organization uh goes to the, the money goes to sick kids in 
uh, during their hospital stays and make their hospital stays a little better. Please go to the link. Uh, all our team members represent various hospitals across the country. Uh, take a look at their profiles, uh, pages, and uh, uh, if you can, uh, please donate and support uh, one of their hospitals that they're fundraising for. Uh, you I can also... also join. Oh, yes. Go, go ahead, Tim. Oh, I was going to say, you can also join to support your local hospital. And if you want, you can, if you're a member of our community, which means you hang out with us and, you know, on, on the Discord or on the Twitch or some combination thereof, you could also join our team. And when you do so, or create your own team or whatever. Absolutely. So uh, I, I want to thank, um, I want to thank uh, our special guest tonight, uh, Tim, I want to say thank, special uh, thanks to Tim for for hanging out with us and uh, first time coming to the show. Uh, I would also like to thank Mark and Chris for being guest stars and coming back again. And uh, I appreciate all of you coming out, uh, having some fun, supporting the games, and hopefully uh, next episode we'll 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 see Coinless return, uh, fully recharged, ready for another singularity moment where he he carries us through through to victory again. Um, <laughs> But, uh, Tim, do you have any parting words? Uh, no, I am. I am still kind of recovering. From that speech, so <laughs> thinking that clearly. Ah, very good. So, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so thank you all for, for tuning in and Star watching. Star Trek is tomorrow. Oh, yes. Uh, Star Trek Le Lexington Last of the Line is tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's a, that's a regular Thursday. Uh, it's good times. Come on, tune on in. And uh, that'd be great. So uh, for all of us at Team Rabbit Habit Ashery, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Uh, See you. Thanks for having us.